Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome to the fourth episode on how to code in Space Engineers. This one's all about how to rename blocks and how to use text in Space Engineers, mainly using antennae. Now, this is mainly coming from a comment I got from Tim Master asking if I could show you how to take the name from an antenna and use that to display how many blocks or terminal blocks there are on a system. You can't actually get how many armor blocks there are in a system but I was assuming you meant terminal blocks. So I broke this up into two different types of code. The first one is the one that I showed in the first How to Code in Space Engineers, where it takes all the blocks of one type and does one action to them. The other one is name specific, so I went through and no matter what number there are terminal blocks on a system, it will always find the first one. apply the action to this one antennae. So antenna 2 will totally be missed and still keep its name. So going into the text, the code of this, the whole uh, set custom name part, this is where you go through and you change the name of your block. It goes through using set custom name, block is as usual, the block that I am changing in this portion of the for loop. I'm going through changing blocks block send its custom name using the string dot format function <clears throat> to use this first portion which is the format where it goes through finds part zero the first part there are with an underscore in between puts that into the name of it and then continues on puts another underscore and then gets to the first I guess the second part which is X which up above here is the in dot block count which will give it the number and then terminal and block are the two and three with the underscore in between so like the first code that i showed you it has the list block makes a list of all the terminal blocks this actually doesn't contain any information i don't know why uh whenever i would do this x equals the length of this list it would always come up with zero so what I did, the normal code continues on from list, starts it out, then block.clear. I don't know what that's really clearing, but then I replace the get all the blocks of one type, in this case, radio antenna, and just did that for all terminal blocks. So now the block, the count of the list is all the terminal blocks, which then I set that to a value because then I go through and reset the list to all the radio antennae and then do the regular for loop to do every action to every action to block i which will be going through the list for the length of the list and then reading out this whole segment to that block's name what the time is going these will keep repeating and there's no change the number of term terminal blocks so as soon as those activate it should change there we go it's set back up to nine now it should go up to ten it takes how long are you guys going for it shouldn't take that long there we go it changed now it's up to ten now if i delete these two it will go back, drop back down to eight there we go. So a little semi-disappointing thing that came up. Uh, I tried making a system that it would only go through and change one this one antenna. You can always just go to that and instead of using a for loop, just do it for the first one that it finds. But it actually they've actually patched something since the second, I guess one that. Even if you have an incomplete name, it doesn't just find the first one, it finds whatever has that full name. So with this function, you won't be able to change a name and then go back and say, okay, this is the first part I'm wanting to change this. That's kind of strange that they would do that, probably was a bug in the system, and I don't know, just one less utility you get to use. Sadly, but... That's about it. Check the description for the code. And if you have any ideas or anything that you want me to tell you how to code, just leave that in the, in the comments. 
and I'll see you in the next one.